Republicans just threatened Democrats. And now we are seeing that this crisis that it has unfolded is going to go from bad to worse. What I can tell you right now is that everybody is looking at the U.S. southern border. And they're doing so in a time when we have one day to pass a government funding bill. We also are doing all of this when there's wars happening over in the Middle East and a war between Russia and Ukraine. So what we are now expecting is that we are going to see a bill very soon. There's going to be votes happening today, but also there's a plan in place from Republicans and Democrats. And this is where Republicans threaten Democrats and say that if they wait and former President Donald Trump wins this next election, they will get nothing like they're getting today. So I'll break down what's going on in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So why would Republicans come out and threaten Democrats? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Republicans want a deal, want a border security deal, change the policies, potentially add additional funding, but secure the U.S. border. That's the one thing they're fighting for. Now, I want to explain why this is a big deal. It's because of the funding. The funding is the issue, and a funding deadlock threatens to make the border crisis worse. I want to go and read you a little bit of this article. This is from Axios. It just came out today. All right? Let's read a little bit of it. It says, Republicans and some Democrats want more arrests the tensions and deportations to deal with the historic numbers of migrants illegally crossing the southern border. But agencies doing that work don't have enough cash as it is. So here's part of the issue. The, the border agents, okay, the judges, right, just the police force, all these different uh, agencies, they don't have enough funding as it is. And the problem is, right now we have one day, we have to pass a government funding bill by tomorrow, January 19th. If we don't pass that bill, it's going to make this crisis at the border potentially worse. Let's keep reading it. It goes on to say why it matters. Stalled funding deals in Congress are threatening to make an already chaotic situation along the U.S.-Mexico border even worse, as lawmakers demand action but can't agree on a plan to pay for it. it. says border money is tied up in raging political debates over immigration, government spending, and military aid to Ukraine. Republicans are calling for President Biden to do more to secure the border, even as they are rejecting, even as they reject spending requests and policies they say don't go far enough. It goes on to say, if the standoff continues, we're going to have to make tough business decisions on what we're going to cease and significantly slow down. That's according to one Department of uh, or DHS official. So, why does all this matter? Well, it matters again because we are pushing everything up to a deadline. One thing that is happening tomorrow is the government funding bill expires, or the first part of it. Okay? So, what we are anticipating is that they're gonna have a vote. The expectation is the Senate is going to vote on this stopgap bill for the government funding bill sometime today. This is, I believe, going to start at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we will see what happens there. The one thing that we do know is that as of right now, this bill, it's not going to give everybody what they want, but based off of what we're hearing, it gives people time, gives lawmakers time to come up with a better solution. Now, where does this tie into the government uh, or the U.S. southern border? Well, what this is doing right now is by seeing the stopgap bill, by pushing government funding back, what's happening is it's hurting the Biden administration. By hurting the Biden administration, it's also giving uh, the Republican uh, presidential uh, candidate or nominee, uh, giving them a little bit of a boost, which as of right now is former President Donald Trump. Well, look at this. So Senate Republicans warn the House um, they won't get a better immigration deal under former President Donald Trump. Okay? 
this is this is pretty much what's happening right now the concern is if we wait on a uh, southern border deal for the next president to come in and potentially work that over guess what there's a good chance it's going to be a republican president at this time it's going to be uh former president donald trump donald trump is not going to come in and give in to some democratic demands it's not going to happen let's read this quote though it says to those who think that if president trump wins which i hope he does that we can get a better deal you won't this is from senator lindsey graham he says you got to get 60 votes in the United States Senate. To my Republican friends, to get this kind of border security without granting a pathway to citizenship is really unheard of. So if you think you're going to get a better deal next time in 2025, the President uh, Trump's president, Democrats will be expecting a pathway to citizenship for that. So to my Republican colleagues, this is a historic moment to reform the border. Now, what we do know is Democrats don't want to accept the deal that's on the table now, but they might not have another choice because their backs are against the wall. They're really against the wall. There's not much we can do, okay? There's not much uh, Democrats can do at this time because they've been pushing this back for too long. The numbers are now too high. There's too many illegal immigrants in the United States. This is causing panic and chaos in many cities and the federal government cannot step in and fix this because they don't have the funding and they don't have the backing of Congress in order to secure the funding. So what happens moving forward? Well, Republicans are going to continue to push Democrats to try to get what they want. And based off what former President Donald Trump had to say, it says uh, from Bloomberg that Trump moves to quash hopes of Ukraine border deal in Congress. I want to read you a little bit of this, okay? Look at this right here. It says, I do not think we should do a border deal at all unless we get everything needed to shut down the invasion. This is from former President Donald Trump. He says, also, I have no doubt that our wonderful Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, will only make a deal that is perfect on the border. Here's where things are at. Is is uh, Speaker Mike Johnson attempting to make the border deal perfect? Yes. Is that going to go through? No. But it is perfect in the sense of this is perfect for Republicans. That's not going to go through because Democrats are not going to vote for that. But if Democrats do not vote for something, the problem is this issue will just continue to get worse. And as it gets worse, it's putting more pressure on the Biden administration to perform. Some experts say that what's happening right now is the Biden administration is just trying to buy some time. Just try to be patient. Let's be patient with this, with this issue. And hopefully there's another issue that pops up that would actually take people's eyes off of the border problem and everybody would then be focused on the next problem, right? We've seen this before. We see it all the time where uh, the media comes in or uh, you know, the White House steps in and says, oh, no, that's, that's not the issue. This is the issue. And they try to redirect everybody to a new problem. That's kind of what experts are anticipating is happening now. That lawmakers just want to uh, get you to forget about this border crisis, and then they'll point you into a different direction and be like, no, here's the issue. But it's not working very well. So what do we expect moving forward? Well, what we are anticipating is that more Democrats are going to be going up against um, their own party. For instance, right now, 14 House Democrats are joining the Republicans to rebuke Biden over the border crisis. Now, what is happening is Democrats understand we have to do something. Republicans are saying, well, we've been trying to get you to do this for you know, years, you haven't done a thing. You've just made these problems worse. And Republicans are now threatening Democrats that if you don't get on board, things are going to get dramatically worse and we will not save you. So this is where things are at. Republicans are saying that if Democrats don't get on board with their plan, they're not gonna help them. They are not gonna jump in and help Democrats on the Democratic plan, the Democratic agenda, 
because that has not worked. There's no way they can do that. But again, this is why experts say things are going to go from bad to worse. Because as Democrats contemplate this, this plan, contemplate joining the Republicans, it's only going to get worse. Okay? Just to give you an idea of how bad this could get, Texas right now is refusing to comply with the Biden administration's cease and desist letter about border access. Texas is going up against the Biden administration. They have been for years and they will continue to do so. The reason why this is an issue is because now this is turning into a more civil problem. This is happening within the United States. Within our own country, we have a state battling the, the federal government. Again, things are only going to go from bad to worse because what's the next step for the federal government? How do they uh, tell Texas that no, you have to allow us access at the border? Again, things are not going to get better until they get worse. That is at least according to many experts. So. As we see what happens moving forward, I promise I'll bring you all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of right now. Republicans continue to threaten Democrats because they can and they understand Democrats don't have a lot of power, especially when we are less than one year away from a presidential election. So we will see what happens moving forward, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.